You do not know how what is your body. How could you know another person's? How could you know how to use your salary? How do you know how to use your profit? That is where your poverty came. Cleaning the grounds and pruning the trees. Once you know that, then you can lead and will not yield to pressure today. The people felt sorry to see the old teacher working so hard. But they knew he would not listen to their advice to stop. So they hid away his tools. The children at home understood the father and mother is illiterate. The grandfather, grandmother is illiterate because they worked, they labored hard with the land, with the weather, with the beautiful climate. Yes. And then they brought in money and fed you beautifully. So you thought the bookish knowledge where they send you to the schools and the universities, parents, to a certain extent went unconscious thinking that schools and universities, if I don't send people, my think I am a bad person, they send you to this. And you got a degree, a certificate, which you don't understand anything. You you knew you, deep down in the subconscious mind, you know, those degree certificate, postgraduate certificate is a robber. You were a robber because you have not understood. 100 is 100. No, even if you understood 99, no, no. You have physically not understood, practically not understood that subjects because you are not put into practice every day what you studied if you don't put in practice you have no right to enter the examination center to write examination that day the master did the people felt sorry to see the old teacher working so hard the children once they got a job they thought this sanskrit is wrong father working very hard and whatever they're trying to advise the father that's sitting on the floor Working in the garden, talking about Sanskrit, going to the temple, church, masjid, all this is wrong. So what they did, they removed all those things. They removed, they forcefully asked him for his property. They demanded his property, they created fight. And the property was divided, the Mormon property was divided. They took away the property, I mean, they took away the uh, his things, I mean, they, he couldn't listen. So they hid away his tools, I mean, hid away his wealth. And threw him into the old age home or left him to die. They have no time to look into him. So they thought that culture, what he's trying to talk is wrong. Advising the children to meet the ladies and touch their feet, elders' feet is wrong. They took away. That how the present day children takes away. They have no time even to say hi or namaste. I see monkeys going in front of the ashrams. Looking like street boys without even proper haircut. They look like gangsters and gangsters have been fed. They don't see me and say namaste. <laughs> Can you believe? Of course, 99% will say that point one person Always say whenever you see somebody, you better talk to them, say a smile to them. See a tree, smile to the tree, hug the tree, talk to the tree. Yes, that day the master did not eat. The next day he did not eat, nor the next day. He may be angry because we have hidden his tools, the people surmised. We had better put them back. Everything because it was a truthful father, truthful master. He refused to eat. Refused to eat means he refused to partake the property, refused to accept anything. What the children are thinking because he has given every freedom for the child to go to the school, to the university, to the factories, to study, to make money. And when he when they came back, he's asking them to just practice what the master is practicing, father is practicing the samskriti or pranayama, breathing exercises, which is health is very good, which gives you more and more energy. You saved their money, but you have not saved your physical energy. Your physical energy is very powerful. Powerful. It makes you look young as 16 years, even at the age of 180, if you practice every day. And that was what the father was telling. No, I will not eat. He refused to eat. He refused to part, sign the papers. He refused to move out. Children got frightened. They said, better we give it back, the property. We better listen to him and say, Namaste, father. You just walk in, hi, dad. How am I? No, no, no. That is different. Hi, dad. But a namaste, when you touch the feet with Shashtanga Namaste, you got your exercise. 
you are in love with the mother earth yes you are in love with the trees and you get resistance power when you hug your father and your mother every day and kiss you have hugged the trees you will learn how to hug the trees and the wind and the sunlight and the rain when it comes you don't get frightened to you to run to the doctor because you might fall sick you will embrace the rain yes and when you embrace the rain and the wind and the nature and the trees you are powerful let thy foot be thy medicine and stacy said that we better put them by the day they did the teacher worked and ate the same as before the evening instructed them no work no food <laughs> the moment children did namaste father again went to the same way hugging and kissing his wife yes sucking and kissing his children yes that hug and kiss is very important he made sure that he will not eat unless they eat from the same plate yes unless they cook together with the mother take baths together they don't feel shy that you are taking baths together work together and yes you have connected to the family the joint family he has instructed them to no work and no food means if you have not taken your fruits you will not eat food you are made sure yes you will not eat fruits after your meals no work no food means you will chew your food if you don't chew your food you have no right to have the food eat the food swallow the food there is no work and you have to chew your food yes morning when you get up you have to put the saliva saliva into the eyes otherwise you have no right to even get up from your bed yes you rinse your mouth 18 times when you are having a cold you don't wear you have no right to wear the sweater no work no food you have no right to work you wear your sweater or your blanket you have to close your left nostril and breathe through your right nose 30 times 300 times your body starts sweating you don't need sweater no work no food try to understand that <laughs> When you get up, you make sure you look at the Surya and you do your Surya Namaskar. You got your stretching exercises. Only then you have the right to study or so to look into the book because otherwise you become bookish. Your death counts if you look bookish. Your you will make death into a life, walking beautifully till the last day. No hospitals. and no gymnasium your house is a gymnasium you jumping and dancing and holding on to your wife and locking your wife and doing the urlu seva together with the wife and then you talk about marriage you talk about husband and wife is one you are right there is the truth in it If you are not hugged in the road with the children, holding on the children, do this. Urlu seva. You have no right to eat food. From there, once you have stabilized, you have you are new the power. Then all the facilities are there for the people when they come. You will still sit on the floor. Yes. When you look at the washing machine, yes, it might be for an emergency. but you make sure 99% you wash your clothes you rub it just squeeze it the water touches your body electricity touches and create an electric fine power in your body and you move to the sunlight please try to do that otherwise you are not a human you are not called an indian you have no right to call that you are a teacher that you are going out said to teach the indian sanskrit which the world decides world thought that you are every indian who is going from here are a yoga expert are a teacher you are not a teacher but a bookish borrowed robber don't be a robber no work no foot if you have not kissed your wife and your husband in the morning from your bed you have no right to get up from your bed and then your children the night also make sure that you sit together eat together family sits together eats together prays together grows together 
No work, no food in there. You find, save, and spend. First, your family's work, your physical bodies you save, and then you go outside to the gymnasium or karate classes, yoga class spent. No work, no food.